What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and welcome to the level 150 Kid Titan gameplay video that I promised you guys over the last couple of videos here. Uh, in the recent video, we used, uh, you know, 50,000 platinum, whatever, whatever, on this press account from Pixonic right here. So to, we, to level up all the Titans to level 150 and discuss their strength and weaknesses, right? And what they're supposed to do, because every Titan has their own kind of area of expertise. And, uh, and we did that in this in one of the recent videos. If you haven't yet seen it, guys, you can you can check on the channel. It's very recent video, uh, leveling them up to 150. This video here, I want to show you the gameplay of the Kit Titan, okay? I'm making a gameplay video for every Titan with level 150, showing certain weapon setups and also, um, you know, showing you guys how strong it is it can become. We're seeing the stats in a few seconds, right? Let's first jump into this level 150 kit with 720,000 health. Holy moly. The damage ability that it has, where it has, it's called a stuff, where it basically does 12 or 13,000 damage per second. Per second. It's not just 30, 13,000 damage. It's this much damage per second. I'm adding the additional weapon here, so I can add here uh, more resistance to it. And now I'm running into the enemy and activating this mode. See? The Ares gets destroyed, and this one too, by this passive damage output that we have around ourselves. And uh, I'm walking into safety here, away from this guy. And then from here, I can reload the weapons and I can activate this. Look how fast, how much damage he takes. Look how much damage this out uh, this this regime takes from the stuff ability, doing these 12 to 13,000 damage per second, for about six seconds or so. So that's like 70, 80,000 damage you can do to your enemy when you're close. And also look how little damage we're taking from the enemy, because we have so much resistance. Uh, I'm going to show you the stats in a few seconds again from the kit level 150, so we can have a look at that. One of the most important things that the kit has is its damage resistance bypass, right? The kit has the ability to bypass resistance. Every weapon he has t does 33% 30, damage resistance, activating the stuff ability, killing the uh, tier robot behind us. <laughs> with the damage stuff and also dealing damage to all the other titans in front of us. And although we do get killed quite uh, quite fast because of the other enemy stuff abilities and all the uh, the damage output they do, we still took out a titan with us. We took out the nemesis. We took out the, the um, what's it called? Uh, the tier robot, and we took half that half another titan down, and that all within a few seconds, man. And again, here are the stats, guys. Um, full action defense is your. Um, is an additional defense points that you get, or basically kind of resistance, that you get when you activate your uh, additional heavy weapon and run around with, with a damage mo uh, mode. Then you get this. But you already have 50 damage damage uh, defi defense points on, on the hull itself. And then you get 150 additional defense points when you run your, uh, your action mode. That's really interesting, although I'm wondering if it really works. 150, it still seems to take more damage than the Ao Ming does. I'm not sure why. Maybe this isn't working right. Uh, but here's the, the big thing. 33% damage mitigation. Uh, resistance mitigation. That means... Uh, and, uh, and Falcon, for example, with 150, uh, no, with a 66% damage resistance, half of that damage resistance you can completely ignore. And then keep in mind, the Alpha weapon also has 30% damage resistance mitigation. So, excuse me, the uh, the Falcon get, uh, resistance is not working very well against the kit, for example. And that's its strength. And we have the, the stuff ability with almost 15,000 damage per second. See that? So that's really, really interesting. We're jumping right into the next gameplay here in a few seconds. I'm just running here the last, uh, just show you guys how I can quickly take out two Titans with the Leech Robot. The best Titan killer is still the Leech right now because it does so much damage. Look at this. Now his resistance is gone on the Titan. When we come out of phase shift, boom, 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 and there goes the kid. So crazy. Huh. All right, so let's jump into the next uh, match right after this. The match is over now and show you the next combat sequence with the Titan Kid. Uh, I feel like the Kid dies quite fast. I think it, it, somehow it dies faster than all the other Titans do, even faster than the Ao Ming, from what I can uh, find find out from the playing all three of them 150 level. 
Um, which is interesting because normally within the action mode, the kit titan should have the highest resistance of all the titans. Uh, but then again, it can only have the resistance active for half the time, right? The other half of the time, he doesn't have his full action defense. So he's basically going to take more damage then. And I think this may be the reason. So, Titan is still charging. Ah, oh, come on. Let's go forward here, jumping into the match. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think we're going getting the Titan this time. Let's get this guy. Let's get this guy while he doesn't have his shield up. There we go. Finishing off this guy. <sighs> and then finishing off this guy after last stand. Now we have another Outshone, so we may as well finish this guy in the stead with the Invader. Still an incredible beast. And now we have, we look to the right and there's another three guys. <sighs> Still not having the resistance. Okay, flying uh, the Titan flying in again one last time with the Ao Chun here. That's definitely going to get us the, Ao, uh, the Titan now, is it? Activating, you know, the Shield Breaker. Playing the sound of the Titan when activating Shield Breaker for some weird reason. Double kill. And triple kill. Here we go. And now the Titan is ready. So, I'm standing on the Titan, uh, on the thing here. I want to cap the beacon before we spawn. Maybe I can cap their beacon and take away, uh, you know, this spawn. But unfortunately, there's a Titan spawning here. Completely taken out. That was 300-something thousand HP. So crazy. So. Oh, another guy spawns in. I just want to take the beacon, for God's sakes. When is it going to happen, dude? I'm wasting two minutes of your time not playing the Titan here now. Okay, finally. Jeez. All right, let's walk into the enemy. And uh, by the way, the next sequences are, are faster, okay? I promise you that won't take as long to spawn the next Titans. And guys, if you and, and gals, if you enjoy this video, you want to see more Titan-related gameplay or maybe get notified about the giveaways, then subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. And um, follow follow the content with a notification bell. So um, maybe you can, you can then see also a giveaway coming up at 200k. So activating the, the stuff ability, doing massive damage to the enemy as they jump in. I'm focusing this, the the uh, the Aochun first because I don't want to have the Aochun flying and this guy had his damage resistance running anyways. After last stand, we take out the last bit of the Aochun. He just wanted to fly, activating the Staff ability, taking out the Inquisitor and the Titan. Already taken out three enemies, now unfortunately I'm suppressed and my resistance is gone. You see how quickly I'm taking damage in the upper left corner. Uh, this thing is taking a lot of damage very quickly when the action mode is not running so very a lot of damage output that you have for a short time and then afterwards you lose a lot of damage output and you lose your resistance so you need to get back in safety after you use your uh, resistance mode and damage mode on the kit in my opinion right so that's something you gotta take and uh, keep in mind how much damage should we do 3.3 million damage while the next guy only did a eight hundred thousand. so we really carry this team quite a bit here with the kid and the other things so, let's get the Titan here with this match. I'm capturing this beacon here, and I'm attacking the guys at the same time. And I think this will get me the Titan super quick. Here, already capturing the beacon. Let's get this guy. Alright, oh, he's shooting me with, uh, with Wasp Corrosion. Unfortunately, though, we have, no, we have a 10 second long reload going. Can't be using the weapons anymore. Here, again, we, we took the beacon. Now we're defending the beacon, finishing off this guy from the beacon, getting a lot of points. And now let's get the Titan. We already have it. We can spawn it now. Okay. Uh, okay, we may as well just finish this guy off first. Because we're having three gust weapons. That's a four gust. That's a lot of damage output that we have here. And that's enough to kill this guy super quick. And let's see. Maybe we can run into this guy's shield before we scrap the robot. Boom, boom, boom. And there goes this dude. So, spawning the Titan. Where are we going to spawn it? Looking for a place to spawn? Here it is. All right. So, Kid Robot. Here we go. You see this guy? I'm activating the defense mode immediately. That means he's going to do a lot less damage. But I'm got, I'm, I got locked down. Uh, <laughs> and that's something I wonder. Why can the Titans, with their size, be locked down from these tiny little bit tiny little weapons i feel like the titans should be much more resistance to lock resistant to lockdown with their huge size all right this huge thing 
shouldn't be so easily be lockable. Let's kill this guy just with the stuff ability. See that? I'm not even focusing him. He had 75% HP and he got completely killed by the stuff ability from the kid with the damage uh, being done around myself. Unfortunately, I just lost my resistance doing stuff damage here again at the enemy titan. But he's got the resistance mode running and I do not. I'm now having it. Okay. So, for 15 seconds, we're going to be protected with more damage resistance. Okay. Uh, stuff mode active. Behind us is an Haichi or something taking a lot of damage from the stuff that we activated. And, ah, uh, come on. And see, this is a problem the kid robot has. You can't, I can't kill him. My weapon is farm, is mounted so far down that the, the, the weapon above me, it would hit him. But it's reloading now. And the weapon on the ground can't hit him. It's firing like a, like a stupid idiot into the wall in front of it instead of hitting the, uh, Instead of hitting the, um, the, what's it called, the Ares right there. Only one hit was all that I needed, but I couldn't make it happen. It just wouldn't work anymore. Couldn't make that hit. Because the weapon was is mounted too far down below. And that's a weakness of the kit, for sure. It's a big weakness. Where, well, where the Arthur Titan can fire from above at any enemy above, above cover with all his weapons and then having all weapons all the time, the kit has the main weapon only half the time. And he can only shoot above cover um, so much, right? So that's a weakness. And then having the resistance only half the time is a big weakness. But it's it has the ability to counter damage resistance. And that's what the strength of the kid, right? So, um, yeah. What's, uh, what's the specialty of the kid? Taking a look at the stats again here. The specialty is to counter tanks. To be dangerous against a leech robot, against a falcon, Fenrir. Um, against the Mender who's running resistance. Against those, the kit is the most dangerous enemy because of the damage mitigation. Um, but overall, um, the full action defense is great, but it's only there half the time. And you get your, the, the kit dies the fastest, in my opinion. Out of all the Titans, the kit dies the fastest. It has no repair, like the Ao Ming. And um, yeah. However, the stuff ability is the best damage dealing ability that any Titan has around them. It's better than the Arthur. Um, blast wave so um yeah all this gameplay stuff is coming up so coming in soon so thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video leave a like and comment down below and if you haven't already hit subscribe as brutal as a man can it for more thanks for being with me you guys are awesome as always money gaming signing off bye bye